Hey, what's up? This is Coach Zach, Connected Performance, and I want to give you guys some instant value. Instant value. And what I mean by that is that I'm going to give you a tool that's instantly going to help you. Instantly going to help you if you want to work on it and you actually want to put the time and the effort into working on yourself, working on your game. This is a very, very athlete driven site and very athlete driven program. And I also have the opinion that pretty much everybody wants the athlete mindset. Everybody wants to take an athletic mindset into whatever the heck they're doing because they see athletes and they are just so drawn to them, the way that they go about their business, the way they perform, the way that they are just so competitive without letting failure affect them. Well, for the most part, if failure is affecting you as an athlete, it's only bringing you down. And so the best of the best, those are the ones that are really, really here in their mind game, their mindset, and they're really learning how to let things go. They actually have faith in failure instead of fear of failure. And that's a concept that I teach all of my students about the faith in failure. It's feedback, as Kobe Bryant says. It's, it's what I have. I have faith in the failure because it's only going to give me the feedback. It's only going to tell me something that I can learn, something that I can grow from. And so instantaneously, I want to give you guys some value. Now, the number one thing that I teach people and that I work, on pe that I work with people on is breath. The breath is enormous. If you're going through struggles and you're going through injuries, you're going through whatever it is you're going through, if you can't manage your breath and you can't master your breath, you're not going to be able to master the situation or the, the ups and the downs that you're going through. I have a true strong belief that if you can master your breath, you can master your life. And so that's the very first thing that I work on. And so if you guys at home are looking for something as far as breathing. You think that breathing is just like, yeah, of course I breathe all the time. That's why I'm alive, Zach. Like, uh, duh. And at the same time, there's also a, a big belief that if we just take a breath and we go, <gasps> we're gonna instantly be relaxed. And so people are like, take a breath, relax. Well, you know what? The real thing is that if you're breathing into your chest, that's where most of your stressors are. It's where all your stress nerves are. And so what we do is, we actually make ourselves more stressed by taking a breath into our lungs. And what we want to do is that we want to breathe in our nose all the way to the pit of our stomach. Now, breathing in and out of our nose is a whole nother, it's a whole nother conversation. It's a whole nother science, science behind that of what breathing in and out of your nose actually does. I have a good friend and a mentor and also coach. He helped me with my nutrition. And his thing is that, you know, when you're breathing in and out of your nose, it's called rest and digest. And so if we're always in this state of rest and digest, then we're able to deal with whatever is thrown at us. And so we also have to realize that when we're taking a breath in our nose all the way to the pit of our stomach, we're using our diaphragm. And if you don't know what a diaphragm is, it's connected to a lot of your organs. And so we're able to feed our whole body of oxygen and not just the top of our lungs and our neck to make our, make, uh, we feel like we're getting choked sometimes when we take a deep breath. And so our anxiety actually builds, our stress actually gets bigger. And realizing that focusing on your breath, not only in stressful situations, use breathing as a way to approach a situation before you're stressed. Use it as a celebration. When you're in a moment that you're outside with your family and you're at the park and you just, you realize, man, this is such a great moment. Take a breath, Take a, connect with that breath and help your body realize that this is good. I'm taking a breath, this is a great moment. If you're only breathing when you're stressed, then every time you take a breath, your body is going to be like, okay, here we go, we're stressed. We might as well just give them some fight or flight adrenaline. So here we go. Just feed our body with more stress. And so I actually personally have a reminder on my phone, an app. I think it's called Mindful, where it's the only reason I use the app is, is to remind myself to take a breath throughout the day, every couple hours. I think it's every four hours I have it set. And I've got to the point where I'm I'm breathing more than that. And that also gives me a moment when I'm around people and the, uh, then the reminder goes off, I say, hey, take a breath. And so no matter what the conversation is, no matter what we're doing, we all sit there and we take a breath. I do it at practice, I do it in conversations. I do it, doesn't matter where I'm at. If my phone, my reminder goes off, I tell everybody around me, take a breath. 
And so that allows us to open up our creativity. It restores energy in our body. There's so much scientific research. And if you're into science, that's cool. Me personally, I find connecting with my breath just helps me open my mind. It helps me relax. It helps me manage my stress and it helps me perform. I use it I use it every time before I stepped into the box. After every single pitch, I'd take a breath. I'd use it before I would go up to the plate from the on-deck circle. And so the, the concept of breathing is huge. And the one thing I'm going to tell you is that I'm an extreme focus coach. And we use breath as our anchor principle. And we use a beast trigger. We use the crocodile because the crocodile they're able to lower their heart rate down to four beats per minute. They're the most patient little creatures on this planet and they will wait 30 days before they even attack a prey. They like, they're so patient, they're breathing, they're evaluating the situation, they're strategizing, they have extreme patience. And then when they go to attack, man, that, they, they, they're committed. They attacked with conviction. And so the, their breath, their, their ability to slow their heart rate down has allowed them to survive for 60 plus million years and not only survive but thrive they're thriving with over 20 something species of crocodiles these things are vicious and they are beasts so if you want to be a beast yourself work on that breath i like to use box breathing if you want i don't really care what you do i suggest that you just start your day with breath wake up sit up in your bed don't do it laying down because you'll fall back asleep wake up sit up Take five to 10 breaths, counting in your head, not quick, just nice and slow and deep into your stomach and exhaling and do that five to 10 times. And I like to just say, thank you, thank you, thank you, either in my head or out loud. Very basic way to start my day. I know that I've been feeding my body of oxygen. I'm restoring energy. I'm helping my body come to and also my brain is able to have space in it. I ha I'm able to just wake up with myself I don't look at my phone for the first 10 minutes. I'm awake. I turn off my alarm. I set it aside. I breathe and I sit with myself for 10 minutes. So try it out. Work on that breath. Master your breath so you can master your life and connect with your breath.